is we're going to talk about fishing a Euro leader or a system on a Tenkara rod. It's one of my favorite things to do this time of the year. We're fishing lighter weight flies on fine tippet and just like anything else it's got its limitations but Tenkara fishing I think is one of the, the ultimate rods for light line Euro nymphing. It's just designed for it. It just allows you to cast very thin lightly weighted leaders with lightly weighted flies with incredible ease and also it just gives you a lot of sensitivity and not pushing any particular brand but this is just the Tenkara USA Sato it telescopes out to 12 foot 9 inches so it's basically a 13 foot rod with a longer leader and what I like on my system everyone's got their approach you can just keep things simple but two rubber twist ties and what this allows me to do it allows me to kind of wind my entire leader around um, on the rod and allow an easy storage and then when I'm ready to take the leader off before I unfold the rod I just wind this up and remember the further the distance between these rubber twist ties the less wraps you need to make the less coiling and then the quicker you can take this leader off the rod so I'm going to pull the rod out here tip out now leader length is going to vary when you're fishing small streams or smaller streams like this when you have tight cover you probably don't want to go too much longer than what I was fishing with today, which is about an 18 foot leader. In that situation, 18 foot leaders and tight cover are sometimes a little challenging because unlike traditional fly rods, when you make a cast and keeping the rod tip down low and when you're fishing under brush, you can strip in the line keeping the rod tip down low. That's one of the advantages with traditional rods. The Tenkara fishing, the rod tip is what controls the drift. So when you're casting up and you're drifting back, one of the best ways or probably the easiest ways to manage that slack is by elevating the rod tip. And with the longer the leader, the longer the drift, the higher the rod tip's gonna be during your presentation, especially at the very end. So often 18 foot is the actual max. And my leader formula is really simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a level section of 12 pound test. And again, this is just what works for me. Find what works for you. But we don't need a taper. These rods can cast level tippet. And I have approximately about eight foot right off the tip of this rod of level 12 pound test maximum. Then I have about a short section, about 20 inches of OX cider material with a couple tags right here. And one of the things I love about these Tinkara rides is how soft the tip is. It allows the interplay of that sire. You can see that sire just twitch and hesitate. And when you're fishing these Tinkara rods and you have just these little tag ends, it just really allows you to see that nymph drift. And the moment that line and leader hesitates, you're going to see this to that. The moment you see that line stop, you're going to set the hook. Then off this OX, we have a short section using a quadruple surgeon's knot from OX to 6X, which you can do. Uh, 6x to a single lightly weighted fly and often when you're fishing pocket water like you're going to see in this film today I like putting one fly because I think when you're fishing multiple flies in pocket water or sections of water where you have broken Disturbance of the water where you have a lot of different speed currents in a short given area You're more likely or prone to drag so in pocket water I tend to fish a single lightly weighted fly to create one anchor point and I feel it just personally It gives me a little bit more control so there you have it. And what's nice about these rods is that you're not committed to this fly fishing. If you want to hike along a stream and fishing is kind of secondary, you can take a little hike. And all we need to do is we can just simply wrap this leader around the rod. We can go for our hike. And then whenever we're ready, we find a good looking spot. We can take this, we can unwind it or wind it back and forth. But it just gives you a quick tool to make a cast when necessary. And then also, for some of us, including myself, Tenkara fishing is just an enjoyable way. Uh, it's got limitations like anything else. It's got a softer rod tip, which means a lot of times your hook sets are not as likely to be as secure. And with these rods, when you're setting the hook, often you find yourself needing to set the hook a little bit harder because there's more flex, there's more bend in the rod. So with these rods, I'm finding myself needing to really set a lot harder, a lot faster than with traditional action rods, which require less force. So when you're working these techniques, you'll find that you often have to adjust your hook set just based on the flex ratio or the amount of litmus in your rod. So 
follow me follow along with me this morning we're going to work this ten, ten car outfit with this modified euro line and leader and some of this pocket water and maybe we can score a couple fish so the one thing i'm looking for to get better entry with my flies in the water is the finger you know there are times where we need to cast off the side maybe under brush but normally when i'm trying to get my flies to create a nice bite to break that surface tension to break the surface tension a little faster i want the finger or the thumb going over the top so i like the finger on top but when i make this cast i want that finger going over the top that's going to help drive the flies down and create a nice tighter connection from the beginning of the cast from rod tip to nymph now i'm just looking at that cider we're fishing a lightly weighted green weenie and what I'm looking for right now is that cider. It's just twitching. My flies are drifting naturally. And I'm just looking for that cider to twitch faster, to hesitate, or completely stop. Bring it in here again. Finger on top, finger on top, make a false cast. Boom. Drop that nymph. As the flies drop, we're gonna elevate the rod tip to manage the slack. Cider's vertical. Drift, drift, drift. Working the side, pop, this drop. Shallower water. Cider's gonna be a little higher off the water. But these Tinkara rods really make casting these lightly weighted nymph rigs so much easy. Er, and really, I think the soft tips just give you incredible amount of sensitivity, and they're simply fun to fish with. Pop. Drop that nymph over in there. Just manage that slack. Leading it, leading it. There we are. There's the fish. Now, when we are in situations like this, we have some canopy above us. Try and get in a position where you do have a clear path. Elevate the rod. Ah, nice little brown. Ah. And on these rods, often these, these fish feel like monsters. Oops. Okay. Well, long distance release. And another thing I want you to think about when you're tight line nymphing, whether it's with a tin collar rod or a traditional European nymph and rod, or any rod for that matter, is that when you make this cast, there needs to be a smooth transition from the cast to the, the movement or the lead of the flies to the elevation of the rod tip. And this is what we call lock and lead. So when I make this cast, I'm just going to lock the elbow, get into a comfortable position. But once I make this cast, that allows me to make that smooth transition. What I don't want is my hand moving back and forth after the cast is made. When you do that, slack occurs. So what I'm looking here is the hands out, I'm locked, I cast and then I slide. But it just allows a nice smooth transition from the cast to the lead of the fly. So there's no, no slack, there's no jerk. Get a little closer, and this is where accuracy comes into play. Hands in front, we're just throwing darts. We're just working those edges right along the rocks. Fire it in there. But you can see my base, everything's nice and tight. All this is is just a wrist, short little wristy cast. Short, compact strokes, point the finger where you want the fly to go, and you've got incredible accuracy with these rods. I have a lip current here where basically it's the end of a tail out, and you get this little tongue. We're going to cast on the upstream side, right in the foam. Reach, keep as much line leader up the water as we can. Fire another cast a little further over to the right. Reach, reach, reach. Fire that another cast. We're gonna just kind of keep working over. There we are. Gonna keep working this. Kind of gritting this thing off, working over and over. But this is where this longer rod and longer leader allow you to really hold that line off the water. And we're gonna fire a cast on the far side there, not there. Short little strokes. Right on the drop. Not there, shorter compact strokes. There we go, right off the edge. 
what we're doing. It's almost like streamer fishing, like I said. Usually when you have fish in those little back eddies, if you can fire a cast in there, you often the strikes occur the moment that fly lands. And work in these little sections, any spot on the upstream side of a rock are often a good spot to work. Elbow in, fire, not there. Flip, reach, on the front end of that of far rock right there. There we go. Again, often this, when you're working these pockets, these little slack sections, almost like a streamer cast. As soon as that fly lands, those strikes are going to occur within the first couple seconds. Grab it onto the leader. Want a little brown, wet the hands, smooth. Turn that fish upside down, relax. Thank you, buddy. That was awesome. Looks so good here. We have two currents coming in, converging. We're gonna go right at the, at the crossroads. Stick it. Lead, lead. Fire that cast in there. There we go. What a beautiful way to end the morning here. Brown. Once you have the fish in, we're just gonna take the rod, as long as you have plenty of room behind you. Just cock the wrist back, angle the rod behind us, grab onto the leader. And this is where you get the long distance release, not a big deal, but man, what a gorgeous fish. What a beautiful way to end the morning.